Well, good morning. Sunday morning, April 18th, 2021. I'm Brian Noe with you for your Sunday morning spread from Cards of Light, brightblessingstarot.com. Glad to have you with me this morning. Going to look at uh, four cards, get a little sense of where we might want to focus our attention in the week to come. Uh, wanted a quick mention of uh, a video that I shared on the weblog, and I've linked to this in the description for, uh, for this stream. Uh, really, really good history of the tarot from Colin Lowe, uh, who is a uh, Kabbalah scholar and has studied the, the tarot uh, quite a bit as well. And it, uh, it demystifies kind of the, the history of the tarot, gives us a really good sense of where all these cards came from. I will also be uh, oh, and also where the lower of the cards came from and kind of the, the way that we use them now, how that all came about. I'll be also uh, sharing some thoughts probably later this week in a blog post about um, how the, how I think at least the major cards kind of came to be in their current, uh, their current iteration. So, um, Look forward to that sometime this week. Let's go right to the table and take a look at our four cards. We're looking at the four dimensions of, of life here. So physical, um, or material, social, emotional, mental, and spiritual dimensions of our lives. And we've got uh, one major, the art card in the physical and material dimension. Uh, this card would be in other decks called Temperance. Over here in uh, the social emotional, we've got Knight of Cups. Remember, knights in the Thoth deck are uh, analogous to the kings in other decks. We've got the Eight of Wands, Swiftness, up in the mental dimension and Queen of Cups in the spiritual dimension here. So we got lots of, of kind of bright energy over here uh, on the left side, and we've got, you know, this sort of soft, uh, emotional energy of the heart over here on the right side of this spread. So let's take these one by one. So what we're seeing here in the art card is uh, essentially uh, an alchemist. Uh, this card also relates to Sagittarius, also relates to the, the goddess Diana of, of the Ephesians. Um, so the archers <laughs> there. We've got the eagle and the lion and they've reversed colors here. Um, so this is all about um, mixing things together in the right proportions to come up with uh, with something that has been transmuted. I mean, the art of alchemy, the idea was to change something from one thing to its complete opposite. Um, and so in the physical and material realm of our lives, I think maybe this uh, the the message of this card is you know follow the recipe. Uh, everything in the right proportion and the right time. Uh, so whether we're talking about financial matters, whether we're talking about physical health uh, or our physical environment, uh, kind of balance and the right combinations are going to be important in this week to come. So that's where I would maybe focus my attention and my, in my thoughts when it came to uh, the, the physical material realm in the coming days. Okay, over here in the social emotional, we've got the Knight of Cups. And uh, so this, in the Thoth deck, as we've talked about before, each of the court cards uh, the ranks of the court cards represent a certain element, and each of the suits obviously represent an element as well. So this card, the Knight of Cups, is fire of water. 
and so we've got the the sort of of uh, water energy that dissolves things. Um, maybe shallow waters, kind of here. So, uh, I think in the social and emotional realm, this is a this is sort of a a call to. Um, to, to take things in, uh, not dive too deep, uh, but just to sort of be that that um, shallow water that sort of takes everything as it comes, sort of dissipates the energy, and uh, s sort of looks at others with an open heart. That would be the way that I would would call that one at least this morning the way I'm seeing it. Again, if you've got ideas, if you're a reader, or even if you're not, if you've got ideas or thoughts or questions, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Either comments here on the video or uh, comments on the web log or uh, message me or email me. It's pretty easy to find me out on the web. Okay, eight of wands here in the mental dimension. Um, th this card I have always thought of as, uh, the, the answer is already on the way. Things have been set in motion and they're, they're flying on their way and sort of out of our hands at this moment, except to, you know, watch for the outcome, but we've done what we can. Uh, another way to look at this card is uh, the energy is moving from the that primordial fire that we get in the ace of the wand suit to these you know electric rays that that Lady Harris is, has colored so beautifully here, and so we've got um, energy uh, sort of dissolving and moving. Uh, toward uh, back to its essence, maybe sort of here, flying along the way. So in the mental realm, I think that this this is just uh, you know be be open to thoughts that pop out of nowhere for us. Uh, be kind of looking for those uh, things that that come to us that we're not really sure on a. A literal, literal, uh, literal. Whew, sorry. Um, linear was the word I was looking for there. Literal, linear way. Uh, how we we got to that particular insight or conclusion. Um, but something seems to make sense to us, or we've just processed information, and you know, boom, and we would have to trace back to say, okay, wait a minute, where did this, what's the thread of logic here? Don't be afraid of those sorts of insights in the week to come, because they may be coming. That's the way I would read that one, whether I can say linear or not. Okay, and we've got the Queen of Cups up here in the spiritual realm. This queen is the empath. This is the one also that you can see the reflections here. Uh, this is the court card that, um, depicts not just an empath, but someone who can reflect back to others, uh, not just who they are, but sometimes what they want to see. So this is water of water would be the designation of this court card in the Thoth deck. So this is a, this is a very fluid, um, sort of easy to be around uh, sort of energy. And so when I see a court card like this, I'm either looking for those qualities in myself, for the good or for the bad. Uh, are we being called to be sort of easy, empathetic, 
uh, and re reflecting back to people what helps them to feel comfortable or are we doing too much of that is there an excess of that so I would look you know first of all at that in myself but then I would also say maybe this is what I should be looking for in the environment and be aware of in the environment so uh, in the spiritual dimension of life uh, which for me is about passion and about meaning and about trying to live uh, a good life um, maybe over the next few days uh, spend a little time looking in the mirror looking into our own hearts would be um, the, the message that would come from that card also be aware of uh, these sort of energies that are about reflection and absorbing things and see where that takes us may have additional thoughts uh, once I've had my second cup of coffee this morning in, in which case I'll add those to a post that will be up with this video on the web blog later on but I think that's it for this morning for me I hope that you are well and safe and happy wherever you are and I'll be back Thursday uh, if not before but definitely Thursday for our three card Thursday draw in the evening and in the meantime, have a beautiful week, and we will see you soon. Take care of yourself.